a lot of people th think of Americans, they oh my goodness, Americans, they're so fat. They eat too much fried chicken. They eat too much McDonald's. Well, that shit's spreading, baby. And um, the, the countries, the continent, actually Europe in general, has been looked upon in like, for the most part, as a super healthy continent. And a lot of those countries have been looked upon as great, great places to eat and the way that their lifestyle is and what they choose to eat and the organic and the whatever. They've been looked at, they've been put on a pedestal, but sadly, some of those countries are falling off of that pedestal in a really bad way. The region prized for its healthy eating now has some of the most overweight kids in Europe. Let's find out where. So the Mediterranean diet, and we've all heard this diet, heavy on the veggies, heavy on the legumes, um, low on the red meats, very, it's like, it's like a vegetarian, vegan, light type of diet. Um, it's, it's, a, it's been seen and like scientifically been proven in research study after research study that the Mediterranean diet is a very, very, very good diet and it's healthy and it keeps kids, you know, it keeps people in general healthy, long life expectancy, the whole goddamn night. But uh, people are not following through with that. People are opting out to stop at the drive-thru and let's find out where. So the Mediterranean diet has long been pointed to by researchers as one of the most healthy ways to eat. The diet is known for its emphasis on vegetables and legumes, whole grains and healthy f fats like olive oil and fish with minimal red meat and yet children who live in southern Europe appear to benefit from it the least. The least! Let's find out how. Data from the World Health um. Data from the World Health Organization in, indicates that several Southern European countries showed some of the highest rates of childhood obesity of the 38 European countries studied in Greece, Italy, and Spain. 42% of boys um, and either are either overweight or obese. For girls, the rates were 38% in Greece and Italy and 41% in Spain. Those are some big numbers. Uh, 41 percent, 42 percent. They're nearing 50 percent. They're nearing half the population. It's over a third of the population, is uh, 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 for both boys and girls, but more more so on the boy side, uh, is overweight or obese. That is a big deal. That is huge. Moving on, aside from those, the lowest rates of childhood obesity were found in countries like France, Norway, and Denmark. Good for them, they're still staying strong, but head of, of the World Health Organization, European Office for Prevention and Control and Non-Communicable Diseases was quoted as saying, the Mediterranean diet for children in these countries is gone. There is no Mediterranean diet anymore. Those who are close to the Mediterranean diet are the Swedish kids. The Mediterranean diet is gone and we need to recover it. So it's not the diet. It's not that the diet has all of a sudden turned and, you know, it's not doing the same things for our bodies that it used to. No, 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 no. It's still the same. The, the, the people, the children, the population, the parents are deciding not to eat the Mediterranean diet. They're opting for out to uh, uh, drive through. They're opting for the burgers, the fries, the, you know, the, they, 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 they doing, they, they joining us Americans. They joining us Americans in our gluttonous ways. Um, which is a sad, sad situation. We never want to see this. I'm not like happy that other countries are doing what we're doing or in the bad situation. I'm just putting it out there that the shit is spreading. I mean, as much as as people want to be healthy, we all know being healthy is great and being healthy is the goal. But who are we kidding? Food that's bad for you tastes so much better. It's so much easier to get a hold of. It's everywhere. And these food companies, these, uh, you know, these uh, fast food companies, all they want you to do is get addicted to their food so they pump as much fat in it. They pump as much sugar in it. They pump all of the stuff that makes you crave and want it so bad. So it's not, uh, yes, it's technically, yes, it's the people's fault, but it's such an easy trap. It's such an easy thing to fall into. Um, bad habits when it comes to eating, especially when it's so available all around you 24 seven. Right? Whole Foods ain't open 24-7, but I promise you I can find a McDonald's open 24-7 five minutes from me. And that's just a fact. And this is spreading worldwide.